three, two, one, go! Again, as Ryan said in this match, McQuanago walking in ranked number five with an average RP of 3.57. Our top ranking's very, very tight. Lots of multi, cube, and cone autos happening. Red Alliance cleaning up all of theirs. McQuanago back in position as time expires. They're going straight to the loading zone for the Red Alliance. Checking in on our score out of auto. Red Alliance leads 53 to 49. McQuanago makes it back first. Steel Armadillos and Appreciate right behind them. All three of those red robots with cones at the moment. They're reaching up on those specific cone nodes, going for the higher points up top and leaving those hybrid nodes for later, at least for the time being. McQuanago plows through a cone right in their community to drop one off on that top row. That cone, though, does fall to the playing field floor. Might be on that tape, might be outside of it. Meanwhile, back on blue, one link already active for that alliance, but they have two positions for cones on top nodes where a link is easy for them. Cybertooth doing it right now out of Kokomo. That purple robot drops off the cube. Five points across the top plus five for the game piece itself. Minute and a half remaining in the match. Red, Blue Alliance rather leading it just by one point at the moment. Co-op grids active, so that means only five links required for the sustainability bonus ranking point. Both alliances also did dock and engage at the end of Autonomous, so the RP for activation also should be pretty easy for the caliber of teams we have on the field. Big collision does slow down about four out of six robots here, all of them, though, walking away, and now in our final minute of the match. Robonauts for the Blue Alliance establish an additional link. Blue now up to four out of the five. Cybertooth is going to get that RP secured for the Blue Alliance. Knots now going in the middle row. Top row complete for Blue. Top row complete for Red. Slight advantage Red in terms of grid completion. If they can get to supercharged nodes, that's really going to help them keep their lead. But with 30 seconds left, we're going to see teams getting their final picks and placements and then racing back on to the charge stations in their community. Robonauts is going back for another game piece. Their two alliance partners still working on placing them. We're down to 15 seconds. Red, slight advantage when it comes to charge station timing here. Knots go for a quick two points. That's going to bring it close. All three red, all three blue. Gap on the board is 10 points. Identical end games at the end of match 91. Final score coming on up, the winner of the match is the Red Alliance. With that full grid, the Red Alliance did take the match, 199 to 189 for RP for the Red Alliance. McQuanago Bears up one spot into number four. Blue Alliance gets two ranking points out of match 91.